Hello, it's Picker here. Um, just a quick video of my picking finds for the 18th and 19th of January 2012. Um, some picking finds and also a bit more sort of detail about expanding your network, getting the word out, and how that can benefit your business. So I'll quickly go through the picking finds. Uh, I got these two books from the thrift store. Um, this is a first edition Murray Walker. Uh, who's a sports um, and uh, like racing car commentator? I've had a book very similar to this before, and um, I paid 99p for it, so one pound, and it's a uh, signed first edition. So um, that, I'm really happy with that. It's, um, I haven't sold the other one yet, so uh, I'll put them both on eBay soon. Uh, pick this up for four pounds. Um, sorry, three pounds. Um, it's 40 quid new and it's like a, a guide, huge thick guide to business. And it weighs three and a half kilograms, so posting it via eBay would be a bit interesting, about eight pound postage. But, um, you know, um, it's in very good condition, so I'm sure that'll sell well. I picked up a few bits from the auction this week. Um, I got this really nice, uh, it's some kind of bill or deed. Um, yeah, way bill for, from the Fox Inn in Melton, October 30th, 1890. And it's just a bill there and, and the amount of £62. And in there, there's a coin which is um, a George II shilling. Now, the question is, do I leave it encapsulated in there? I mean, it'd be fairly easy to take it out, and it's already part open with just this um, gum tape. Take the coin out. Because uh, the coin's worth quite a bit, it's a silver coin, and um, you know it's not the best of condition, but it's it's still you know an old coin. Or do I leave it as a package? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, all this lot uh, was twenty five pounds. Then in here we've got a uh, solid silver twenty pence piece, silver proof, uh, weighs ten grams, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then in here we have a uh, commemorating the silver jubilee. Now I normally avoid these sort of coins because this has got gold here, so it's sort of layered in gold. But I noticed when before I was bidding just below here, you wouldn't want to make it out. There's actually a set of English hallmarks, so the whole thing is solid silver. Yes, it's got accented with gold, but it's still an ounce of, of um, silver. So with that, I mean, they retail for about £10. That's a bit of a wild card. And, you know, the money's in these two items, so the profit's in this. So, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, I'd be intrigued to hear what people think I should do. i also got this lot, which I may have overpaid for. I'm not too sure. Um, it was a lot with some photographic developing equipment. Uh, but there, there was this, which is what I bought it for. It is called it's called a Hotbox Elite. It's like a large fan heater. It's like a wall-mounted job, and it's intended for a greenhouse. And you set the thermostat on, so it just keeps it at a com constant temperature. Now it works. I've tried it on the cool setting, but I haven't tried it on the hot setting yet. So, you know, I mean, these retail from 175 to 250 uh, new. This is a second hand one, uh, the entire lot with the other stuff I paid £35 for. So, you know, not bad. Um, there are, haven't been any completed sales of second hand ones for these on eBay, so not too sure what they're going for, but, you know, not a bad deal. Um, the pho photographic developing equipment, I'll probably put back in the auction and try and resell that way because it's just a bit too much hassle to try and list it when I don't really know what it is. So this next segment is about expanding your business network and um, also, you know, getting the word out there. Now, the all this stuff is has been kindly given to me by friends and family. Uh, first of all, mum was clearing some stuff out and she's, she's given me this mirror set and uh, brush set not a huge amount of value there, probably about £10 for the whole set if I was to put it in auction. 
but still really kind of her um, to do that. Um, but the ma the major sort of kind thing that she's done, I'll, I'll get back to in a second. Um, then my granddad is having a clear out, and he's he's got this. This is a photo of it because it's way too big to show. This vast collection of um, Vaseline glass. I think it's called um, not radioactive glass. It's something like that. Um, but yeah, really cool collection, and apparently it's quite popular at the moment. Um, so. I'll be appraising that for him, and if he's wanting to downsize, then I can sell it for him, certainly. Um, he's been clinging on to it for a while, um, so, you know, he wants to downsize a bit, and he'd be, I think he'd benefit from the money rather than having it sitting about. Then lastly, my mum has really kindly donated some stuff to me. Um, this box you will have probably seen before in a previous video, but it's what's inside the box, which is cool. She gave me this little bag here which says uh, goodies for Thomas um, which I found amusing and inside of it was this all of this as well as this which I shall finish up with so this is it I've tipped it out and uh, these are the goodies that I have um, been given very kindly and if you're watching this mom thanks very much um, it is a huge pile of silver jewellery amongst other things. Uh, some bits are plated up here um, which is you know some nice costume jewellery um, but here you'll see a nice bag of chains and then a whole mishmash of you know matching pairs, chains, some nice rings um, with moonstones in and, and you know there's quite a weight of silver there. Also we've got this nice bracelet um, that weighs about uh, 15 grams and then there's this huge chunky Indian bracelet that weighs an ounce and a half uh, then there's this one here it's all marked up this weighs over an ounce as well so um, yeah I mean there's probably four or five ounces of silver maybe in total so there's one two two three let's say four four ounces of silver so um, yeah amazing so um, just shows you get the word out there and um, people having a clear out and then there's this in there there was this end to a uh, necklace here it's tested up as nine carat so uh, that's probably about a gram's worth that's you know 12 pounds worth maybe and then there's this this is the star bit that I got it is belonged to my mum's gran so great grandma yeah and uh, it's a kingfisher nicely enameled it's all chipped around the edge here and apparently there used to be a stone in the middle but that's long gone and then um, it's a brooch back but that's missing um, but it says on there 24 CT so it's uh, 24 karat gold now it's a bit of a tough choice because it is a family piece do I try and repair it and fix it it weighs three grams, so that's about hundred pounds worth of gold there. So I probably won't do anything with it yet. I'll just, you know, keep hold of it. But um, yeah, it's re yeah, really cool piece. So uh, so it's a nice find. So all in all, um, I'm very happy with this week. Um, other than um, getting the usual winter cold, hence why I'm talking quieter. Um, but other than that, yeah, very good week. I'm off to the auction tomorrow, so uh, we'll see what comes out of that. And uh, I'll get some more videos up soon. Thanks for watching.